be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, the tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to Jesus, and the Pharisees and the scribes murmured, saying, This man receives sinners and eats with them. So he told them this parable. What man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he has lost one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the one which is lost until he finds it? And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and his neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. Just so I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous persons who need no repentance. Or what woman, having ten silver coins, if she loses one coin, does not light a lamp and sweep the house and seek diligently until she finds it? And when she has found it, she calls together her friends and neighbors, saying, Rejoice with me! For I have found the coin which I had lost. Just so I tell you, there is joy before the angels of God over one sinner who repents. The Gospel of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, If one silver coin in ten is missing, I bet you will notice instantly. But how many of us would notice one sheep out of a hundred? How many of us would notice if one sheep out of a hundred sheep had gone missing? We keep a beady eye on our money, and it's small, easy to manage, easy to notice. With sheep, it can get a little more complicated. I know I definitely would not. Certainly not without counting them, and then counting them again, just to make sure. But Jesus... Jesus being the good shepherd, Jesus who says, I know my sheep, and they know me. They hear my voice, and they follow me. Jesus knows instantly, almost as if by instinct, that one of his has gone astray. Such is the nature of God reflected in the parable this morning. That God cares so deeply for each and every one of us and is invested so much in each and every one of us that none are any more or less important than the other. All are equal in importance before God. For God loves all in equal measure. Every single one of his sheep, even though there are billions and billions in the flock, he loves every single one as if that one was the only one in the world. Scripture says, In the Gospel of Luke, chapter 12, verse 7, and in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 30, 
He has numbered the very hairs on your head. He has numbered, he has counted, he knows every single one of the very hairs on your head. You are that important. You are that loved. He loves you. God loves you. Totally, radically, infinitely. Not as one among many. His love isn't divided between competing children. A question I love to ask parents who have multiple children, which one is your favorite? Come on, you've all got one. Might be ashamed or embarrassed to admit it. Which one do you get along with best? Which one responds better to you? Which one are you closer to? But with God, it's not like that. God loves you, me, every single one of us uniquely, with a singular determination that is completely unmatched. God has no favorites. None. The gospel today confirms it. The gospel today affirms it. That's God's love for us, his sheep. And so when one of us, just one, goes astray, he notices and immediately goes in search. God is always reaching down and reaching out. We are never alone. We are never abandoned. We are never scorned. We are never rejected by the God of love. His love overflows into mercy. Brothers and sisters, how can our response to such great love, once we understand it, once we accept it, once we acknowledge it, how can our response to such great love be anything but love in return? Love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind because that's how he loves you. We always talk about reciprocal love. Once we receive love, we give love. Once we are shown love, we show love. The only answer to a love like this, to a love as powerful, as radical, as total as this, is our own response of powerful, radical, and total love to the best of our ability. And so, dear brothers and sisters, today contemplating his love for us, let us love the shepherd as he loves us, the sheep. Let us devote ourselves in love to the God who is love. Amen.